So our last type of problem is a weak base problem, and it wants us to determine the pH of a 0.15 molar ammonium solution. Now remember, ammonia is one of our good bases, weak bases, and we know it's a weak base because it's not one of the strong bases, the ones formed by alkali or alkaline earth metals. But it is a base, even though it does not have OH in the name. So when we kill for a weak base similar to a weak acid, we have a Kb, and then we have to use an ice table or in our shortcut to find pH. So, but remember, when we're doing Kb and a base analysis, we are only our answers are with OH minus, and this OH minus is not directly going to get to pH, right? We have to convert it to a H plus concentration. So don't forget that extra step. But to start off, I'm just going to use the shortcut method this time, and we have. We know we can use a shortcut because our K is relatively small and we have a really big concentration. So if you remember correctly, the X is going to be K, the concentration times KB. So our concentration was 0 0.15 times KB. And when we solve for that, our X value turns out to be roughly... Zero, zero, zero. One, six, two more. Some of your KBs might be a different little, that was just double checking. It's 1.76 technically, so it might be a little different, but it should be roughly that in answer. So that, remember, is X, and in this case, our X is the OH concentration. So we have our concentration of hydronium. Now remember, we can't go directly to pH. But we could go, one way is to go to POH. So POH would simply be negative log of hydronium, which in this case is going to be negative log of 162. And when we do that number, we get approximately 2.7 as our POH. Then we can go pH will be 14 minus POH, so that would be 14 minus 2.79, and we simply get 11.68. And we can double check. We know that pH should be greater than 7 for our base. The other option would have been when we have the concentration of hydronium, we could have done Kw divided by that and then gone and gotten an H plus concentration and then gone directly to pH with a negative log. That's just the other option. Whichever way you want to decide to do it is fine. But remember that we also need to check. Don't forget about the assumption. Since for this step right here, we assumed that x is much smaller than the original concentration of 0.15. So we need to check. And our check would simply be, I'll do it down here. Our check is going to be point, what do we get for x, divided by 0.15 as a percentage. And that percentage is very small, and we know it's going to be less than 5%, so we are good to go. So make sure you check both values, uh, for the, even if you did it the ice table way, to, that you have less than 5%.